Jacob Lawrence was one of the most profound artists in the 1940s due to his, one of his first great works, the Migration Series. The Migration Series depicted the movement of many African Americans at the time after World War I from rural south to urban north. The Migration Series was a series of 60 paintings which were considered panels. Jacob Lawrence's inspiration for painting the Migration Series was greatly influenced by his childhood. As a child, Jacob Lawrence's parents separated. As a result of this, his mom moved north to New York to find work. At the time, not only was Jacob Lawrence an African-American, but he also participated personally in the Great Migration. Additionally, as a child in communities, he heard much about the Great Migration along with his personal experience. This allowed him to paint his paintings in great detail. The Great Migration was a time when many African-Americans moved from the South to the North because of the terrible living conditions and extreme racism that occurred in the South at the time. Because moving up North played a large role in Jacob Lawrence's life, he had a great deal of passion for painting about the Great Migration. On top of the experience he gained from moving up North, it also introduced him to one of his greatest role models in New York. Charles Alston Charles Alston was another big name in African American art in the 1900s. As a child, Lawrence was put into something of a daycare, where Charles Alston mentored him and molded him into the artist he was. After being mentored by Charles Alston, Jacob Lawrence was a profound painter. He was able to start his famous migration series, the first panel of which was completed in 1941, depicting many African Americans going to northern cities, including Chicago, New York, and St. Louis. Lawrence was able to fund this project with the help of the Julius Rosenwald Foundation. With the help of in total three grants he received from the Julius Rosenwald Foundation, he was able to complete the migration series in eight months. The Rosenwald Foundation was set up by a man named Julius Rosenwald to build black schools mainly in the South and further develop the creativity for African Americans. This included funding Jacob Lawrence. After completing the migration series, his series of panels was shown in Edith Helpert's infamous Downtown Gallery in New York. The most famous works of art and local artists was shown here, and after being shown in this prestigious gallery, he became a very famous African American painter, and from this point on, his name was known. The specific piece of art that I researched was Panel 52, depicting one of the largest race riots in St. Louis in 1917. Lawrence attempted to depict all of the big moments of the migration, including the struggles and hardships of blacks traveling up north. The race riots in East St. Louis were one of the biggest moments in African American history in the U.S. Over a hundred African Americans were shot, lynched, or burned in St. Louis. The Migration series contains some of the most impactful paintings of the 1900s. This is why Jacob Lawrence is one of the most profound painters of the 1900s.